Hi everyone, Daryl Legacy here, Instructional Designer at Hack. In order to keep your D2L gradebook organized, it's useful to create categories into which your grade items can be placed. And if you're going to use a weighted gradebook, this is essential because it allows you to set weights for categories rather than just each grade item. Having categories also allows D2L to automatically drop highest and or lowest grades. First, go to Grades in D2L. Then go to the Manage Grades page. Then click on New and choose Category in the drop-down menu. Give the category a name. Let's call ours Literary Analysis Papers. If you want, you can also give it a short name, which is how it will display in your gradebook. You might want to give it a short name of Lit Analysis so that it displays better in your gradebook. The options for the category's value are slightly different depending on whether you're using a points-based gradebook or a weighted gradebook. We'll look at both, but let's start with the points-based. Scroll down until you see the grading area. Check the box next to Can Exceed if you want to allow this category to go over the total points assigned to the grade items within it. This is useful if you allow extra credit or bonus on assignments and want to allow those extra points to spill over into the overall grade. As an example, let's say there are three papers in this category, each worth 20 points, and you add a five point extra credit option for submitting a draft first. If you check this box and a student earns 20 out of 20 on all three papers and all the extra credit, those five bonus points will spill over onto their overall grade. If you don't check this box, the category's points can't go over 100%, even if items within it do. So our student would earn 60 out of 60 for the category, and none of the extra credit would be used toward the overall grade. The exclude from final grade calculation is only used if this category isn't worth any points in the overall grade. You normally don't want to check this box unless it's a category of optional items or not related to the final grade. There are a few more options that can determine how the grade items within the category are valued. Distribute points across all items sets all items in the category to the same value. You can then determine the number of points they're each worth. Making all items the same value is the only way to have D2L automatically drop a number of the highest and or lowest items, which you can choose with the final two boxes here. Now, let's see what the options are if you're using a weighted gradebook instead. First, you'll be able to choose the weight of the category. This is how much the category counts into the overall grade of the course. So 50% would mean it counts as half of the entire course grade. Checking the box next to Allow Category to Exceed Category Weight does the same as the Can Exceed box does for a points gradebook. It lets bonus points or extra credit spill over into the overall grade. The distribution area lets you determine how items inside the category are valued. Manually assign weight to items in the category lets you set the weighting of every individual item in the category. They can be all the same, all different, or any combination you want. Distribute weights by points automatically sets the weight of each grade item by how many points it's worth. So, for example, if you have three items, each worth 25 points, it will automatically set them each to 33.33% of the total category grade. If you then add a 75-point item, the new one will be 50%, and the three older ones will be 16.67% each. The nice thing about this option is that it automatically recalculates if you need to add or remove an item for any reason. It also accurately reflects the importance of each item, as long as you thought about that when choosing their initial points of value. Distribute weight evenly sets all items in the category to have the same value. So if you have five items, it will weight them all as 20%, even if their individual point values weren't equal to start. Choosing this option then allows you to set a number of lowest and or highest items to have D2L automatically drop from the category calculation. When you're ready to add grade items into this new category, click on a grade item. Scroll down and click the box under Category that says None. Then choose a category in the drop-down menu and click Save and Close. 
When you go back to the list of grade items under Manage Grades, that grade item will now be displayed under the appropriate grade category. That's all it takes to make grade categories. It's a great way to keep your gradebook neat and organized, and it lets you set up automatically dropping lowest and or highest grade items. It also sets up a system that still works if you need to add or remove an item for any reason. If you have any questions, please contact me or someone else in the CDI team.